all for being here. Thank you, Brad, and Brenda, and Victoria for getting us started this morning. And welcome, everyone, to our week from the start event. We're very glad to have you here to celebrate with us and with your students. My name is Martha Ann Todd. I'm the interim president of Columbus Tech, and I have very much enjoyed getting to know everyone here working with this great and dedicated group of people. I'm looking forward to continuing that work. I know you're all ready to get the show on the road, but first I'd like to recognize a few folks who are here with us in the audience this morning. We have a number of foundation trustees here today. Would our foundation trustees please stand? Our foundation board of trustees is second to none. We'd be very hard pressed to find a more committed, dedicated, and hard work. Columbus Technical College is also very fortunate to have a great board of uh, amazing Columbus board. And we have several of those trustees today who are particularly pleased to be here today. These folks serve our college in an advisory capacity to help make sure that we stay on the path of success and progress we suggest. Kim Trot and Travis. Who were able to be here I think, this morning, and I know we have uh, three new hires here today who will be joining us as well. If we, I know we have one of our kids with us this morning. Peter Chamberlain is here from the New Southern Santa School Board. We have one of our kids with us. We have David Lewis, who is the new New Southern Santa School Board for Chapter 11. Scholarship donors, our donors, and those of us uh, who have come with them this morning, particularly to Columbus to represent them. Thank you all for coming. As we go through the program this morning, we would love for those of you who do attend and who recognize the students who are honored with the scholarship from the society to please come forward. Lucy will remind you of that for the other folks. Speaking of our new lady, let's welcome her and our please allow me to make a quick introduction. Teresa Whitaker has been a mainstay in Columbus Television for a long time. They put a number in here, but I would not like for them to tell you my number. So <laughs> <laughs> she has been the main store anchor for WRDL and CBS affiliates in Richmond. Well known to the community. You can read her complete bio in the program, but a few highlights include covering presidential elections, serving on the media panel during the editorial and congressional debate, and singing in her church choir. Teresa has also launched an initiative locally to help feed the homeless and is an active member of Delta Sigma Theta and a member of the local Habitat for Humanity Board of Directors. She's a proud Kendrick alum and received her associate's degree from CBC. And her bachelor's from what is now the University of Georgia. She served as our MC for this event last year, and I'm told that she set the bar so high at that event that she's the only one who can help that event. So, Teresa, thank you so much for being here. Please have some seat. Good morning. Long, 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 long time. 
in fact, I'm about to uh, Colleges 2018 Eagle or Exceptional Adult Georgian in Literacy Education winner, but she was unable to attend. Well, she's here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hey. Okay. Accepted. <laughs> this is like live TV, y'all. <laughs> All right. Accepting on her behalf is Vice President of Adult Education, April Hobson. And congratulations to Crystal. All right, next is Trevini Edmonds. Trevini was the salutatorian from 
Stewart County, and she's enrolled in the Human Resource Management Program. Congratulations to her. Next up is Marissa Jones. Marissa was the CTAE Student of the Year for Hardaway, and Marissa is pursuing a career in the healthcare industry. Caitlin Lee, come on down. Caitlin was the Boys and Girls Club Student of the Year, and now is also well on her way to a future in the healthcare field. All right, congratulations to Caitlin. Next up, Natalie Miller. Natalie was the Adult Ed Student of the Year or Eagle winner in 2017. She is currently enrolled in Columbus Tech's Medical Assisting Program. Uh, apparently, a lot of folks so slept in this morning. <laughs> but we're going to call the names anyway because they deserve to be honored, right? All right, so congratulations to Natalie. Coming up next is Columbus Tech's Gold or Georgia Occupational Award of Leadership, and that goes to Victoria Mushan. She is taking courses to get ready for the rigorous admissions process for the Columbus Tech Nursing Program. Congratulations, Victoria. Callie Rice, it's your turn. Callie hails from Harris County and was homeschooled the ninth of 10 children. 10, say that again, 10 <laughs> children. <laughs> if that isn't amazing enough, she was also crowned Miss Collegiate America earlier this year. Callie is enrolled in health sciences courses in hopes of eventually entering the nursing program. Congratulations to you. Talisa Richardson was the CTAE student from my alma mater, Kendrick High School, and she's enrolled in the health sciences program. Congratulations, Cherokee. Gabriel, Rome, let's say, if I mess it up, Gabriel, please don't be upset. Gabriel Robledo is Robledo is pursuing a career in engineering and is a former star student from Muskogee County. Is he here? Congratulations, Julia. Michelle Rump is in the healthcare program and was a star student for Quitman County. Congratulations, Michelle, to you. Kaja Small was a CTAE student for Muskogee County and is in the biology program here at Columbus Tech. Congratulations. Kaja. And Kaja is working us too, so. We <laughs> see the students. And now for another former Eagle winner, Lacey Spencer is currently enrolled in Columbus Tech's Healthcare Assistant Program. And last but certainly not least comes. Takira Williams from Quitman County. She was that school's salutatorian and is also hoping to pursue a career in the nursing field. She's currently enrolled in health sciences programs. Takila, congratulations wherever you may be. <laughs> and now let's get all of our presidential scholars together. Congratulations again to all of the winners. All right, the next category stems from the generosity of our community. The trustee scholarships became possible through additional donations to Columbus Tech Foundation. These awards are being presented to students in programs who, until they started, didn't have scholarship offers. This is a large group, so please be respectful and allow everyone's name to be called. After your individual pictures, winners, please step to the side for the big group shot at the end. So we're starting with Jose Cabrera in the Automotive Technology course. Okay. Congratulations. 
Congratulations. Next is Christy Mahold for Business Management. Congratulations, Christy. For Computer Support Specialist, Neil Bomarito. All right, coming up next, representing criminal justice, it's Kim Hang No. Next on our list is Maria Roy, representing the Aesthetics, Aesthetics Program. Congratulations. Representing one of the newer programs at Columbus Tech, Funeral Science Education is Nalma Sumbri. Naima? Naima Sumbri! Congratulations, Naima. For a major appliance technology, Kenneth Thomas. I can't mess that one up. All right, Mr. Thomas. Got that shirt from the dry cleaners off. Rest. <laughs> Our trustee scholarship winner for medical assisting is Brianna Price. Time. Next, practical nursing student Felina Walker. Congratulations. All right, and surgical technology student Serena Andrews. And at this time, we'd like to ask the Foundation Chair, Jack Hayes, and past Chair, Twyla Kirkland, to join them as they take a big group photo. And please give all of our recipients a shout out. All right, that is a lovely group, is it not? All right, now for something new this year from the foundation, special recognition for our veterans. We're Latika Hall. Nicole McGrew and Nathaniel Primus, please come forward. All right, these are veterans. 
challenge, y'all. We can do better than that. Made possible thanks to the generosity of families, foundations, nonprofit organizations, and the like. So, if you are in the audience and you're representing one of these organizations or the scholarship is in your honor, we would like you to come up and have your picture during the group pictures. So, let's go with Astrid Baker Scholarship for Health Sciences. This scholarship was established by Dr. Chan Baker. He's an orthopedic surgeon in Columbus in honor of his mother and former nurse, Astrid H. Baker. And the winner for this prestigious scholarship is Shakira Cooper. And now Dr. Baker. Congratulations. Next up is the Arena Scholarship, which was established in memory of Dr. Fred Arena, a local radiologist by his widow, Dr. Catalina Arena. This year's winners for the Dr. Fred Arena Memorial Scholarship for Radiologic Technology are Whitney Arce and Miles St. Clair. Dr. Arenas here. Okay. Congratulations to both. Next up is the Emil Fisher Dental Hygiene Scholarship, named in honor of retired Atlanta dentist Emil Fisher, who is a powerful advocate for dental education and excellence. Will Canon Munoz come on down and be recognized? I like that name, Canon. All right, the manufacturing industry is huge in our area, and the jobs are plentiful and pay very well. The Georgia Association of Manufacturers, or GAM, Manufacturers Education Foundation Scholarship honors students enrolled in a manufacturing field of study. Will Loretta Abram, Tremaine Baldwin, Brian Bottoms, and Mona Tall please come forward? And if anyone is here, <laughs> Mona Tall, if you are And then after they take this picture, we're going to ask the foundation and the GAM members to join them for the photograph as well. Thank you so much. Once again, congratulations. <laughs> Gloria Dodds Johnson is a lifelong resident of Columbus and worked tirelessly at bettering her community. Columbus Tech was grateful to have her at the helm of its foundation for several years and set up a scholarship in her honor. Among other qualifications, the winner of this award must volunteer with a nonprofit organization for no less than 25 hours over a year's time. So congratulations to Felina Walker. Felina and Julia. Congratulations. Our next award was a 
established by the Columbus Technical College Foundation to honor President Emeritus Bob Jones for his 15 years at the helm of Columbus Tech. This year's winners for the Bob Jones Student Support Grant are Karima Bedell, Shakira Cooper, Cannon Munoz, Madison Patrick, and Whitney Wingate. And Mr. Jones is here. Do you mind if I ask if you're joking? <laughs> 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 I'll tell that to my co-anchor Phil Scoggins, who bleeds red and black. All right, now, Mr. Jones, would you mind? <laughs> Just part the red season. Earlier this year, you all may remember the story of a Columbus woman who was tragically taken from us, allegedly by the hands of our enemy. Kelly Levinson was a paramedic right here in Columbus and a graduate of Columbus Tech's EMT program several years ago. To honor her memory, her family started a scholarship in her name for a student currently enrolled in the EMT program. Can we ask Sabria Wimbush to come forward, as well as any members of the Levinson family who choose to do so? The next scholarship was created in honor and memory of 2017 Protestant Technology graduate Kyle Kelch E. House. Kyle was the grandson of President Emeritus Jones and loved by many. He gave back to his fellow students by tutoring in the science support lab and sharing his kindness and smile with everyone he met. President Jones and family who may be president or may be present, or you could be president. <laughs> Please join our winners from uh, Mona Tall, Michael Thorne, and Whitney Wingate. Mr. Jones, you know you're going to have to run for president now. That was a, that was a prophetic word there. <laughs> Congratulations. Next, the Larry L. Galebridge Scholarship is presented to students enrolled in manufacturing related programs. The scholarship was created by the Galebridge family in honor of Larry's 80th birthday with Loretta Abram, Justin Fountain, and Katie Smith. Please come forward.
Congratulations. Another new recognition this year is in honor of the late husband of former Columbus Technical College President Lorette Hoover. Michael Hoover, or as Lorette referred to him as My Mike, was an accomplished and respected contractor. Will cabinet making student Tim Huff come forward, as well as any members of the Hoover family? The Paul and Velma Clater Scholarship is presented to two students in the registered nursing program this year. The recipients of the Clater Scholarship for this year are Michelle Rule and Sage Satish. Congratulations. Smile for you. All right, the Peasold Management Group owns and operates Valley Area McDonald's, Mickey D's, as well as several hotels. To say they are invested in a strong service industry would be an understatement. And that's why this scholarship in their name is so important to our community. Will Peasold Culinary Arts Scholarship winners Heather Brown, Johnny Fox, or Joni Fox? Joni Fox. Alexia Smith and Samika Stokes. Congratulations. Now, are y'all involved in uh, putting together what we're going to do for the next one? I can smell some of it earlier. It really smells good. All right, we're wrapping it up, folks. Let's go with the Heartland Scholarship next. And this scholarship was created in memory of former Columbus Technical College President W.G. Griff Heartland. This scholarship goes to outstanding registered nursing students. And this year's winner is Michelle Rule. All right, that's going to do it for me, folks. <laughs> I'm going to turn the mic over to Susan Seeley. She is the Executive Director of Institutional Advancement here at CTC. Susan has some special presentations. Thank you so much for being a dynamic audience. And once again, congratulations to all of the recipients, and thank you to all of the donors. to ask our Chair Jack Haynes and past Chair Twyla Kirkland to join us for these pictures and presentations. First, we are grateful to Wells Fargo for their generous continuing support of our Student Assistance Program.
The Lee Philanthropic Organization has donated generously their scholarship, and we would like to recognize their outstanding support. I don't think this group is here, but we would also like to recognize the Home Builders Association for their generosity of scholarship. Is anyone from the Home Builders Association? I didn't think so. <laughs> and finally, the ES EMS program would like to honor the memory of Lynette Davidson, one of their fellow students who passed away recently. Lynette's classmates are taking up a donation and they will be giving it to the foundation shortly. So we certainly are grateful to all of those students. Before we take our big group picture, I'd just like to say thank you again to Teresa for doing such a great job. And of course, congratulations to all our scholarship winners. Let's give them, our faculty and staff, donors and supporters, a big round of applause. Yeah. 